Hey guys, so today we are making this cutie. That's right, this cake is legitness. Today we are making Charmander from the Disney Christmas classic, Beetlejuice. I think this cake is adorable, so let's get started. I'm Cinderella and you're watching Pocahontas. Dun, 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 dun. We're making the Grinch, you guys. I was just messing with you. Now this video kicks off all of my holiday content. And I know what you're gonna say. It's still November. Then don't watch it, all right? But you're gonna be missing out and you're gonna be sorry. November who? Thanksgiving what? No. Let's create this cake. The first thing I did was create my PVC pipe stand. Some of you guys call this an armature. I call it a... Uh, pipe... Piper Stander. <laughs> I drilled a hole into the middle of my cake board with an electric drill. And then I took a hot glue gun and glued a PVC pipe into the middle of my cake stand. Once the glue dries, this will be ready for stacking. Now for this cake, I started with two four inch round cakes. I'm using red velvet cake because that's what I felt like eating. Now the four inch round cakes were a mistake because I overestimated how big this baby's belly and body was and I didn't end up using either of them. To create the Grinch's head, I'm using a six inch half dome cake for the bottom. And to create the top of his head, I'm using a cake that I created with my doll cake pan. I just didn't fill it up to the top. Now I cut the top of my cake in half and then using a serrated knife, I started to cut away the edges so that it would be 6 inches in diameter at its widest. It would be the same size as my 6 inch half dome cake. Once all of my cakes were leveled, I started to stack. Placed on my two 4 inch round cakes, which again, were mistakes. I added some buttercream in the middle and then stacked on the second one. Now for his head, I needed to add a support system so that it would stay up and I'm using a pipe coupler that I cut in half. I just hammered it into place with a metal spatula and I'm adding on two circles of cardboard to increase the surface area of the support. On went my half dome cake and then I added another coupler into the middle as well as a piece of cardboard to support the doll cake that will go on top. Now I'm going to add some buttercream in between the layer of cakes and then add the bottom of the cake that I baked in my doll cake pan. See, it's not just good for doll cakes, you can repurpose it for a lot of other things. Now I added some more buttercream into the middle and placed on the top of the doll cake pan. Now the reason I decided to use the doll cake pan to create the top of the head is because the Grinch's head comes to a point and I found that it would be easier to create that point with this cake pan. I smoothened out the buttercream on the sides of the cake and this is when I realized that the body was a lot thinner than I envisioned. So I cut away the cake at the bottom and decided that I was just going to create his entire body with fondant. After that I started to carve my cake. And I wanted to make sure that I got the point that I was at the top of his head so I started to shave away the sides and create this really nice teardrop shape. Now I was creating this Grinch cake at the beginning of October, I know you guys. But it got me in the Christmas spirit and I started to design all of my Christmas characters early. But I made some stuff for you guys. I made a phone screensaver and a tablet screensaver that you can download in the description box for the very low price of free 99 You better hurry because after the first eight are downloaded, then it goes back to the original price of free 99 99 so if you don't want to pay that then get on it. Now three of my Christmas characters don't have names so if you want to help name them there will be more information at the end of the video. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. If you're gonna create this cake you can definitely give this a second coat of buttercream. I personally don't like buttercream and I don't want to be wasteful because I'm just gonna wipe all that mess away so I decided against that. I just flattened out the surface of my cake and got it ready for my fondant layer. I'm wrapping my entire cake with some green fondant. With some... Well, it's like in between a green neo and a fresh apple. This one's called Sassy Grass. I feel like whoever decided that all of these names was doing too much grass. I wrapped it around the cake and made sure that the seam was at the back. Made sure that the front of the cake was smooth and I got it ready for all of his facial features. 
And then the back, look at that. Look how professional that seam looks. Wow. I've never seen a line so straight in my entire life. Now the seam on this cake is very obvious, but I am going to be adding some fur-like texture and it'll definitely hide the seam later on, hopefully. Or else just don't turn your cake around. Put it in like the corner of the room so nobody can see the back of the cake. Who's looking at the back of your cakes anyways? Don't invite those people to your parties. Patricia! Yeah, sorry, um, I'm not gonna have the party after all. I just decided against it. So you don't have to come. Um, you know what, I am having it, I just don't want you to come. Yeah, I don't, you always look at the back of my cakes, I don't know why. And then you talk about it, just, can I just live in peace? No, we don't have to be friends, that's okay. Okay, well that works for me. Um, somebody's texting me about the party, so I'm gonna call you back. Alright, bye. Now I cut away the excess funnel on the back and at the bottom as well. And I really like that hat, you guys. Hold on. I stole this from my sister who bought it from H&M. And I really like it. There's holes everywhere on this hat, so it lets your hair breathe. Oh. I can feel the breeze everywhere I go. And it reminds me of Jason Mraz. I'm Asian Mraz. Now using a sculpting tool, I started to create the Grinch's deliciously evil smile. It takes up like half of his face. He also has this line that starts at his nose um, and just travels down the middle of his face. And using a ball fondant tool, I started to create some indentations for his eyes. And you're gonna notice that as I'm creating this cake, these indentations get deeper and deeper as I start to figure out how big I want his eyes to be. Then I started to add some texture using my fondant tool. It looks like a shell. I don't know what this is called, but I don't really say the names of any of my fondant tools. I just call them all fondant tools. I actually didn't like the texture I was getting from this fondant tool, so I decided that I would create each piece of fur individually. Initially I was too lazy, so I just did like general texture, but then I realized I needed to be more specific about how I wanted the fur to flow on his face. And look, you see, this seems like disappearing because of all the texture. Patricia? Yeah, actually the back of my cake looks pretty nice, so you can come if you want. Uh, just don't bring anyone with you. Now once I was happy with the fur created on the side and the bottom of his face, I started to work on the top of his head. Initially I just created texture with fondant tools, but I decided to add some individual strands of hair using pieces of fondant. Now I'm wrapping fondant around the PVC pipe, and then I added some more fondant towards the bottom so I could start to shape his belly. Once I was happy with the shape, I covered the entire thing with a third piece of fondant that I scored to match the fur texture that I created on his head. So the first two layers of fondant were for shape, and the third layer was to create texture. Now to create the Grinch's limbs, I'm using fondant as well. There's a lot of fondant on this cake. This is like the first cake where I feel like the cake to fondant ratio is pretty, it's pretty even. If you're gonna make this cake for someone, it's strictly for like the birthday person. Nobody else can have a piece. Now I use four different reference pictures for each of the limbs. I use a picture from the book, a picture from the original animated movie, the Jim Carrey movie, and from the new animated movie. So all of my Grinch's features are like reminiscent or a combination of all of those different versions of the Grinch. I wrapped some red fondant around his neck to give him a pretty bomb looking scarf. I made a small indentation with a ball tool and then just placed in a little ball of fondant to create his nose. And then I gave him two big ol' eyes. I wanted him to be like a baby Grinch and that meant his eyes had to be huge. And these eyes were a little too big for my face so I had to cut them down just a little bit. I added on some green and black to give him pupils. And then I used some of that skin tone green to give him some eyelids. I just made sure that I had that like evil V in his eyes, you know? Cause this boy's up to no good. Using some darker pieces of green fondant, I gave him some eyebrows and just added texture to them. And using a little bit of green luster dust, I added some sparkle to his eyes. Then I added some catch lights. 
And then with yellow luster dust, I went under his mouth just to give his face a little bit more depth. And it's Christmas time, so I added some coconut shaving snow to the bottom of my cake board. So he looks like he's playing and sitting in the snow. And voila, my Grinch cake was complete. Yo, he's looking fresh. Yep, my boy's looking fresh. I love the way that this cake turned out. I was very unsure of the structure that I created. It felt like I cut away some of the support from the bottom layers of cake, but it was so secure. It, like, it didn't move unless, unless you like, Shake it vigorously? Don't do that. Oh my god. I can't help you if you do that. Now I think he is really cute. However, at like the very last minute I decided that I wanted him to be in a Santa costume as opposed to just a scarf. So I took him apart, wrapped his arms and the top of his body in some red fondant, and created a Christmas coat by wrapping some white fondant to give him some of that white Santa Claus detail. Now to create his hat, I use a very long teardrop shape. I place the bottom of the teardrop on the top of his head and wrap the tip around the side. Some more white fondant to add some trim, and then the ball at the end of the hat. Would this be like polar bear fur? So Santa Claus clubbed a polar bear so that he could create an awesome Christmas suit. That is kind of messed up. And voila, my Christmas Grinch was complete. I even added this really big ball of red fondant to give him like a toy sack. He's like Mr. Steal your Christmas and your girl. I watched a lot of Disney movies growing up and The Grinch was one of the few movies that wasn't owned by Disney that I actually really liked. So I'm curious, are you gonna watch the new one? I am just because I really like Benedict Cumberbatch. Now remember, you can download your free phone or tablet screensavers in the description box, and they feature a lot of my favorite characters. And we got Callie Koala up front, Antoinette, Franklin the Snowman, Zabroni, Cannon LaRue, and the three that don't have names. Now originally, the White Reindeer was supposed to be Rudolph, but I thought it'd be really cool if we came up with a brand new set of reindeer to fly Santa's sleigh. So no more Rudolph, no more Dancer Prancer. Vixen, Chance, the rapper, Taylor Swift, the other Taylor, Bingo, Bongo, Lucy, and Koanga. None of those reindeer exists. We're going to create our own. We also have the Tin Seal, which somebody named the Tin Seal, but I thought it would be better species name, so he still needs an actual name. And we have the red panda. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see everything I post in the community tabs and you can be a part of the naming process. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.